Ladies and gentlemen, the next comedian coming to the stage, the one, the only, Randy Winters! Okay, so first thing I want to tell you is I am not Ted Danson. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. But I am a doppelganger. Who knows what a doppelganger is? Right. How many of you have seen a doppelganger? It's terrifying. It's bad enough to look at yourself in the mirror in the morning, but when you see someone coming at you and they don't do the same thing you do, it scares the shit out of you. <laughs> so anyway, we'll deal with that later. I have a bigger problem. I'm Mormon. I shouldn't be here. I'm in a bar, and we're drinking, and we're cussing. I have problems with this. I can't go to church and say, Jesus really fucking loves you. It just doesn't you know? I mean, they kicked me right out. So I got on my knees, and I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed. And uh, should I do dirty comedy? And I never got an answer, so I said, uh, fuck it. And so, so back to the uh, doppelganger thing. I really think that we had a problem. I think that God ran out of time and budget building the universe. That had to be fucking expensive. So he doubled up on the moles. He made two people for every mold. So we all have a doppelganger. Usually should be at a different time in the world so we don't cross paths. But when you shuffle the deck, sometimes cards stick together, and here you are. So I'm, I'm in the same place with Ted Danson, and I have to deal with it. So, <laughs> so my question is, why spend the time building a beautiful world, different colors of people, different heights, um, flowers, VD, cockroaches, big dicks, little dicks, um, you know. <laughs> I don't get it, but the cockroach, what use is a cockroach? He could have spent time doing technology. I'm a technology guy. Why not give them technology in the early days instead of building a cockroach? Do you know a cockroach can breathe, can go 40 minutes without breathing, can survive a nuclear attack, and you can cut its head off, and it lives for an hour? Now, there's only one other human being I know on this planet that can live for more than an hour if you cut its head off, and that's Donald Trump. You wouldn't know the difference because his tweets would be the same. <laughs> But let's just take a look at this. Adam and Eve, they were placed here, they're his kids. They were stripped naked, they erased their memory, placed in the garden of like Eden with no home, no house, no iPhone, nothing, and left alone. Now, I don't know about you, but in my state, that's child endangerment, and you can go to jail for it. <laughs> we also have Moses. Moses was 80 years old. He climbed a 7,500-foot mountain to get two tablets of stone with 10 sentences on it, the Ten Commandments. I've seen old people in Walmart and aisle 9 trying to make it to the incontinent section, and they can't make it. <laughs> so technology is missing. It's just, it's just a problem. So today, in closing up, I want to talk about one thing. Dating apps. How many have done dating apps? <laughs> There's one that asks a whole shitload of questions to match you up. What's the name of it? I tried it after I got divorced, and I got two that were crazier than the one I divorced. Okay, so, so anyway, here it is. So I got, I, got, I got to wrap up, so let me be quick. They ask all the questions, but the right questions. And that's sex, because without good sex, you don't have a good relationship. So guys, listen up, and girls, ladies, listen up. If you're a guy, you need to ask the following question. How about a little BJ in the morning to wake me up? Okay? There is nothing like a good BJ versus an alarm to wake up in the morning. And, and if you're a woman, you need to know whether the guy's going to go down on your punani. Okay? Right? Okay? So... The deal is, women are different than men. They're not slam bam, thank you, ma'am. They're orchestras. They build it up slowly, and when they get you get the right spot, they say, "Stop! Don't move! Don't move!" Thirty seconds, sixty seconds, and what, however long it takes for them to crescendo, you got to do it. And by that time, they got their legs and their arms wrapped around you. You're pulled in so tight, you're wishing you took a Patty Divers course the year before. <laughs> So my, my, my advice to you is ask those questions before you get in a relationship and you can solve anything else. And in closing, I have two things to say. Okay. Two things to say. Enjoy technology as good as it is. And remember, whoever you believe in, they fucking love you. I want you to know that. Okay? And if you want to see my Ted look-alike impersonations or so on, go to mirrorimages.com, look up Ted Danson, and you'll see it in my social media campaign, which is Ted Danson and not. It's been great to be here. This is The Good Place.
This is the good one.